Spooky Swap is not only Phantom's main dex, but did you know that you can also earn up to 120% APY? Let's have a look. What's up, my name is Caroline and this is Web in Progress where you'll learn how to make passive income with cryptocurrencies. In this video, I'll show you how you can earn passive income by farming or staking on SpookySwap. Not only that, I'll also show you how to swap tokens and how to use its bridge, which is, which is super useful to swap which is super useful to bring tokens from one chain to another. Now, Phantom took a bit of a hit with the recent news of Andre Kronje leaving the Phantom ecosystem, leaving Phantom. Now, in times like these, people look for a new ecosystem to pour their money into. And we've actually done that way before all of that happened by getting into the Metis ecosystem. Now, we're huge fans of the Metis ecosystem and I honestly think this can become a top 50 or even a top 10 coin. Now, naturally, with Metis growing, its ecosystem System grows as well and that gets you some really good opportunities to get in early on new projects. That's been one of our main focuses in the DeFi Academy and so for instance we shared Starstream at its IDO or ICO price when it first started out and we're constantly looking for up-and-coming projects that offer new opportunities for our members. Plus all of our members get direct support from Karen and me so no one gets lost in a new DAP. Now those projects or those tokens are actually perfect to use for my millionaire strategy. Link is on top of my head if you haven't watched that yet. Now, what you need to remember is that you don't need a 100x every second day. All you need is a 3 to 5x every couple of weeks or months. So if you want to be early for new Metis projects and don't want to spend hours upon hours digging through crypto Twitter and other resources, then go down in the description, click on the second link to join the DeFi Academy now. All right, so I'm now on SpookySwap. Link is in the description below. And what you can see are all the options on top here. That's basically all you can do here. So what we'll look, to, what we'll look at today is number one, farming. So if we click on that, you can see that these are all the farming pairs. So again, farming is when you take two tokens together, get an LP token, a separate token for that, and then farm a new token that you receive as a reward. Now what you can see is if you scroll through that list, there are lots of different APYs and they actually change a lot. So when I prepared this video, the highest one was at 130% more or less. Now the highest one is at 120 more or less, this, this option. And this will decrease and increase all the time. So these APYs fluctuate a whole lot. So that's one of the risks that you need to keep in mind if you want to farm here. Now the other one is in permanent loss. As always, I've talked about that so many times. So just keep in mind that the ratio can fluctuate and you can end up with less money than if you had kept all of it in one of those tokens. So if you kept all of it in Phantom and that increases, you'll lose money if you keep that in a in a pool where it's paired with another token. So keep that in mind. But if you're fine with that, then these are some great options here. Now, the ones that I prefer are with a token that you absolutely love and would like to have more of and a stable coin because that makes things just a bit more predictable. So I like this option very well with USDC and Phantom because it gets you a pretty good APY of 51%, and then if phantom decreases, I don't care because it's great to have more phantom. And if phantom increases, worst things, worst thing that can happen is that you end up with more with more USDC, which is fine in my case as well, because that basically allows you to DCA out of your position. So this is something I would do, and this is what I'll show you as well. So if you just click on that, it basically walks you through everything. So first of all, it says you need liquidity, right? So what you can do is you can simply click on get USDC Phantom SPLP, so that's the LP token, and then it will automatically show you what you need. So you need ingredient A, that's the first token Phantom, and then ingredient B, that's the second token USDC. Now you might only have one of those tokens, and for instance, what you can see is I have 4.9 Phantom in here, but only 0.5 USDC. And maybe I wanna have a bit more USDC to get an equal amount. So so in that case, you first need to go to swap here and then swap whatever token you have and get more of the second token. So in my case, I want a bit more USDC, this one. So I'll swap another phantom for USDC. So I click on swap here and then confirm that in your MetaMask. All right, so that went through and now I can go back to liquidity. So that's what we've been before. So if, you, if you're in farm here, and you click on that and you click on that get USDC phantom LP thingy that automatically brings you to liquidity. 
So you can go there straight away as well. And now you see I have a bit more USDC. And what I like to do is I take the token that I have less of and click on max because then it will automatically show me how much I need of the other token. Because what you need is you need 50% in dollar value of each coin. So in this case, I need $1.64 of USDC and $1.64 of Phantom. So if I choose it this way, it automatically adapts that and then I can click on approve USDC. And if you've never traded anything on SpookySwap, it will ask you to approve both tokens most likely. So then confirm that in your MetaMask. And now once that has been approved, you can click on supply and again, confirm that in your MetaMask. All right, so now that went through and now instead of those 1.49 Phantom and 1.64 USDC, you now have a certain amount of LP tokens. So what you can do is you can now go back to farm and click again on that pair you want it. And now you can click on approve to stake because you know you've got that LP token. Again, confirm that in your MetaMask. All right, and once that has been approved, you can click on stake and then it will show you, it should show you how much you've got in here. And as you can see, that's a very small amount, but that doesn't matter because that is a certain value that you have with your two tokens that gets that LP token and you receive a certain amount of that LP token. So just click on max and then it will show you how much you've got and then click on confirm. And then again, confirm it in your MetaMask. All right, so that has been staked and it just takes a second to update. And in here, we'll even show you how much your two separate tokens are worth in here or how much you've got at the moment. And this will change depending on the price, on the price movement of Phantom, this will change. But you can see the value on top here and that should, should stay more or less the same. And on top, on top of that, you obviously receive those 51%, which is pretty good. Now, what you need to keep in mind is that you are in boom. So that's one thing that is another risk that you need to keep in mind. You earn SpookySwap's native token, Boo, that's this one here. So what you can do is if you want to get the most out of that is harvest that on a daily basis or as often as you like, and then either put it in one of those tokens and stake more of that. So either buy Phantom or USDC and put more of this LP token in there. Or if you believe in Boo increasing in value in the future, then you can just hold that. And what you can also do is you can also stake Boo. So you can take your Boo, then go to stake Boo here and then stake that for another 34%. So that's pretty good as well, especially if you believe in the future of that token, then that's a great option as well. Now, the great thing about that is that it's auto compounding. So the boo that you have in there earn more boo and then that gets automatically put back on your capital, on your boo that you initially put in there. And then that earns even more. And with the, the liquidity rewards, you can earn even more and put even more capital in there. So that basically increases the amount of APY that you can earn in here. And that works the exact same way. So you need to approve, confirm your MetaMask and then stake and confirm your MetaMask. So the exact same process. So this is basically how you can earn passive income on SpookySwap, which is pretty simple. There are a few risks involved. So you need to make sure to do your own research and be fine with those risks. Don't put all of your money in there, only money that you can afford to lose. Now, another thing I want to show you is the bridge because that's generally useful if you want to get tokens out of the Phantom ecosystem to another chain, or if you want to go from another chain and put it into Phantom. Now, not all of the chains work in here. For instance, as far as I know, Metis is not in here yet. I've just filmed a Metis bridging tutorial. This will either go live just before that or just after that. So link will be somewhere in the description or on top of my head. But for a lot of other chains, you can use this bridge, which makes it really simple. So now we're on the Phantom chain in, uh, in uh, MetaMask. So now I could go from Phantom to another chain, for instance, BSC, or you can choose any of those other options. I also used Avalanche for a while as well. And what you can then do is you can bridge a stable coin from one chain to another. So that's really cool. And if you click on select a token, you'll have a bunch of options. You even get other coins like BNB and even and phantom that you can bridge over there but what i usually like to do is bridge a stable coin now the only thing that you need to keep in mind is that there's a minimum and a maximum and those especially the max can change depending on how much is in their different pools because they need to have those pools to provide you with those tokens so if you go from phantom to bsc there needs to be 
USDC on BSC to get you that basically. So this depends and I tried to bridge over uh, a couple of times in a row and it actually didn't work because then the max decreased a lot. So you need to keep that in mind but at the moment it seems to be pretty good. Uh, I can't show you how to bridge it right now because I need to have at least 12 USDC and I don't have that much in here. But all you basically need to do is click on bridge token, approve both chains and then you've got your USDC bridge over from Phantom to another chain and you can use it there. So I think that's really useful to make all of that interoperability and that interchangeability between the chains, between the different chains just much more user friendly. So it doesn't really matter where, what kind of DAP on what kind of chain you use, as long as you know where to get funds from one end to the next. So, so I think that's really useful. And I think it's cool that you can do that on the DEX as well. All right, so that's it for this video. That's how you can earn passive income, how you to use the DEX on SpookySwap and also how to use the bridge. So basically how to do anything in the Phantom ecosystem all on one DAP. Now, don't forget to check out our free masterclass, which is the first link in the description if you want to get an edge in the market and take your, your investing strategy to a whole new level. Or if you want to be early on for new message projects and see what we're investing at, see our whole portfolio and trades, then go to the second link, link and sign up for the DeFi Academy. If you like this video, hit the like button down below, share with your friends and be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.